now available in paperback and e-readers, e-steam cancel vacation. Hell's aspiring angel takes on a social justice social media mob looking to cancel her in this all-new e-steam series adventure. Get e-steam cancel vacation in paperback and e-readers today. A lot of beta males like your Kyle Rittenhouses and your George Zimmermans I have a serious case of inadequacy. And because they have an extreme case of inadequacy regarding their manhood and their masculinity, they want to be this hero. Now, these men's need to be a hero comes from the fact that they did not get any actual model of manhood from their fathers to show them how men every day go out here and do what they need to do in life. And because these males never had good interactions with their fathers, they feel inadequate about their own masculinity. And because they feel inadequate about their masculinity, what they want to do is go out here and do something to prove that they can be a man just like all of the other men out here. Now, these men like your Kyle Rittenhouses and your George Zimmermans, they, because they feel extremely inadequate, oftentimes these men try to overcompensate for their feelings of inadequacy by trying to identify with males who are in positions of power that they covet. Now, your Kyle Rittenhouses and your George Zimmermans they oftentimes identify with men like police officers because they want to have that kind of power and authority in their own lives and they want to get a chance to be able to be that kind of man who has that kind of power in their lives. So this is why these men have such an emotional attachment to men in law enforcement and why they aspire to be in places like law enforcement because oftentimes these men who come from places like single mother households because they only see the woman with all the power they want to be like that police officer and be a man with power and control over people and have power and control over situations because these men feel powerless about their own lives now, this whole need for power is the other reason why many of these men are often drawn to guns and have a major fixation with having weapons. Now, your guys like your George Zimmermans and your Kyle Rittenhouses, they oftentimes want to have these guns because they really don't have much confidence in themselves, so they need this gun to be some sort of attachment so they can feel somewhat adequate about themselves and somewhat secure in what in their insecure male identity now these guys are again they're extremely insecure and because they are extremely insecure what they want to do is they want to go out here and do something major in an effort to become the hero they believe will be able to establish themselves as the man that they want to be. Now, many of these males, what they want to do is in an effort to get that whole effort to become that hero, they want to go out here and work towards that goal by either joining places like the police department or the U.S. military. Unfortunately, because these males don't really have a good understanding of things like male authority, following directions, or critical thinking. These kind of males oftentimes do not last much long in the military or the police academy because these males, because they grew up in female-headed environments, have a serious issue with male authority figures, and oftentimes they are looking to challenge any sort of male authority figure because they are used to being under female authority figures. And these men oftentimes have another hard time with following directions from a man because a lot of times these guys are extremely emotional. And because these guys are extremely emotional, they don't really want to go out here 
and go out here and follow the directions of a man and they don't really want to go out here and submit to the authority of a man because they are very uncomfortable with male authority figures. And these beta males oftentimes chafe in structured environments like the police department and the military, even though they covet that power, these males oftentimes chafe in these environments because they really don't know how to function in environments where they have to deal with strong male authority figures and they don't understand how to respect things as related to male order such as chain of command and they don't understand the unwritten rules of manhood and masculinity now that's one of the things that makes these kind of males loose cannons and their uh, being a loose cannon is one of the reasons why these men oftentimes fail at the police academy like George Zimmerman did and they fail in the US military because if you cannot respect the authority of your commanding officer and you cannot follow the orders of a commanding officer and you cannot follow directions and guidelines that are established by your commanding officer then you're not going to last much longer and these guys don't last much longer in the academy or the military because they are they want to be this hero and that whole concept of a hero they have in their minds it is something that does not really fit into the structured environment of a police academy or a military now these guys what they want to really be to be that hero is they want to be like these movie characters like they see Clint Eastwood or your John Rambo. They want to be this rebel and this maverick that they've seen in these scripted hyper-masculine movies and TV shows, but that's not somebody that law enforcement wants to have around because loose cannons are liabilities and liabilities can cost a department its reputation and it can also cost a department millions of dollars in a civil lawsuit so these kind of guys they 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 want to have that kind of power that your law enforcement and your military officers have but they just cannot work within any sort of structure like this so what they do is they go out in places like your like the condo complex that George Zimmerman was in and they try to impose themselves as some sort of authority. Now your George Zimmerman, he was the one who insisted he was going to be the neighborhood watch and he did not consult with anyone because your George Zimmerman was not making a contract with the people of that neighborhood because making a contract with the people of that neighborhood meant that he would have to be accountable for his actions and oftentimes with your beta male who wants to be a hero he doesn't want to be accountable to anyone and he doesn't want to be responsible for any of his actions he wants to go out here and be this rebel who goes out here and takes on the bad guys without having any sort of measure or standards to be held to so he volunteers and never acts anybody what they want because he wants to create a covert contract where he will get what he wants for taking down the bad guys which is accolades and fame and he will be praised by people as a hero that is basically what a George Zimmerman or a Kyle Rittenhouse really wants from their actions they want to be seen as some sort of hero but in actuality these men are actual villains because they are not out here looking to serve the community no their motivation for going out here is to serve themselves and they want to go out here and covertly by their alleged serving the community what they want to do is prove their manhood and their masculinity and they want to try to find a way to deal with their insecurities and inadequacies about being a man by going out here and participating in one grand event 
that will allow people to see that they can be a man just like everyone else. Now, the big problem with your George Zimmermans and your Kyle Rittenhouses is, is that they have never really been around actual men. They do not understand what manhood is all about. And manhood is not about going out here and proving your manhood by being some sort of hero. No, a man proves his manhood by the little things that he does in the lives of the people in his community. No, he's not out here looking to go and show how tough he is with a gun. And no, a man goes out here and shows how he is a man by going out here and doing little things like taking care of his family, making sure that the whole family's bills are paid, and going out here and treating people with respect. That is how a man shows how much of a man he is, and he leads by his example. Now these guys, what they want to do is they want to go out here and have the power of a man, but they don't know anything about the responsibility of a man. Because a man who is responsible understands that there are some jobs that are out of his hands and he needs to let those professionals go out here and do those jobs like security officers and law enforcement who are specially trained and can go out here and assess a situation and deal with it in a constructive manner because these men have learned critical thinking skills, conflict resolution skills, and problem solving skills that these beta males do not have. Because one of the reasons why your George Zimmermans and Kyle Rittenhouses got themselves jammed up so bad with the murder of Trayvon Martin and the deaths of those two people in Kenosha and the injury of one other is because neither of these men had any of the life skills that a man has which are critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, and the ability to go out here and use logic and reason. Because any man out here, he's going to understand that it's not his job to put it, be this so-called urban vigilante type guy because there's no need for him to go out here and do this when we have trained officers who can go out here and solve these problems and these trained officers while they may not be out on the street taking down so-called bad guys there are officers doing things behind the scenes like the detective squad who go out here and do investigations and those people in the detective squad they can go out here and solve crimes like the ones that were alleged in the Trayvon Martin's complex, the so-called robberies. That's the job of a trained detective to go out here and solve. And there are trained, licensed riot officers who can go out here and handle a situation better than a teenager with an AR-15 rifle who doesn't know anything about anything and does not understand that part of being an officer is being able to follow directions, being able to um, submit to the authority of commanding officers like your watch commander, and being accountable for your fellow officers when you are out in the field. But these males don't want any sort of accountability, don't want any sort of responsibility, and what is really troubling is many people get manipulated by these males because they present these false narratives of being a hero but being a hero is not about going out here and sating your ego or dealing with your insecurities or inadequacies no true to the game heroes are those men who go out here and make sacrifices to protect others like all of those passengers on the plane that crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Those are heroes and those officers, firemen, and EMTs who lost their lives on 9-11. Those are heroes, those are men, and men of character understand that the road to being a hero is not about you or your ego. It is about other people 
And that's something that your George Zimmermans and your Cal Rittenhouses and their supporters don't understand. They don't understand that what makes a hero a hero is the fact that it's they're looking to serve other people and they're not looking to go out here and get glory for themselves. Because what your Kyle Rittenhouse wanted to do when he went to Kenosha was he wanted to be that hero who went out here and saved the so-called people from the rioters and he want and then your Joy Zimmerman wanted to be the hero who protected the complex. But the beta male's whole motivation for being a hero is basically the same motivation a villain has and their motivation is to go out here and be the hero all so that they can get the glory get the fame and the accolades but the great irony is is that many of these men wind up going out in infamy and the reason why they go out in infamy is because they are not really the heroes of any situation because these men create the problems, these men escalate the problems, and they make the situations where they wind up doing harm to others instead of trying to protect people by stepping aside and letting those who have the training and skills go out here and do their jobs. That's the other big problem with your beta male, is he's extremely insecure, and because he's insecure, he wants to go out here, and he only feels secure when he's out here doing things, not trusting others to do their job. So your beta male, he wants, he, he wants to go out here, and he wants to prove his manhood, but the, in places like law enforcement is not a place for you to prove that you're a man, because you need to have a good sense of security about your manhood. You need to have a good sense of security about your masculinity. You need to have a good sense of security about your male identity. And you need to understand your role as a man before you step into this job. Because if you step into this job with the wrong motivations, what happens is those with this hero complex they wind up participating in nefarious, villainous behavior, or they start to get frustrated at the communities that they serve, and they look to turn on them, and they look to brutalize them. So that's the other side of these kind of males. They oftentimes turn on the very people that they're serving because they get frustrated because they don't understand that your job is to serve others and it's oftentimes a thankless job, but these guys, they, don't, they, they want the thanks, they want the accolades, they want the fame, and when they don't get it, they get angry, and then they wind up participating in violent behavior because their whole reason for being a part of any sort of service to the community is all about them, and it is not about the people they are serving, and that's the whole concept remind, remind that beta male's quest to be a hero and that quest to be a hero just shows us that these kind of men they're not heroes they're villains and when you're dealing with a villain a villain is a selfish greedy person who is all about their ego and all about making themselves the center of attention because their motivations are about trying to prove something for, to themselves and trying to impress others so that they can get some sort of glory that will elevate themselves. And they, that's not what heroes want to do. A hero is nothing like these kind of guys. And it's troubling to me to hear more and more people try to call these kinds of men heroes when there's nothing heroic about any of their behaviors. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my books like The Man Crisis, which detail how the beta male's behavior is extremely dysfunctional and dangerous, you can find that book on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find it on Smashwords, the iBook store, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle, all about Maryland. 
Learn all about the struggles of a faded former teen sitcom star in this absolutely fabulous five-star screenplay. Get all about Marilyn in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com today.